More revelations continue to be made in the Nikki Yadav murder case as Delhi police continue their investigation. In the latest development, accused Sahil Gehloth has claimed that his initial plan was to show Nikki's death as a road accident, according to sources quoted by news agency NI. Sahil told police that he had decided to push Nikki out of the car to kill her, but could not carry out the plan. Subsequently, he allegedly strangled her and stored her body in a refrigerator at his dhaba in southwest Delhi on 10 February 2023. A leader of the Maharashtra Navnirman Sena party has threatened to slap Shiv Sena, UBT, leader Sanjay Rao. MNSS Sandeep Deshpande on 19 February 2023 accused Udhav Sena Sanjay Rao of using derogatory language during a press conference. Deshpande said that he would have slapped Rao as obscene language cannot be tolerated. The MNS leader reportedly added that Raut's mental balance has been disturbed after spending time in prison in an alleged money laundering case. Earlier, Sanjay Raut had claimed that a 2,000 crore rupees deal had been struck to allot Shiv Sena's bow and arrow symbol to the faction led by Eknath Shinde. In a chilling case, a 20-year-old man allegedly murdered a delivery boy he failed to make the payment for iPhone he ordered online in Karnataka. The incident took place on 7 February 2023 when Ikar delivery agent Hemant Naik reached Hemant Dutt's place to deliver the order. According to NDTV, Dutt stabbed Naik multiple times as he could not pay for the smartphone. To cover the crime, that then stuffed Nike's body in a sack and kept it at his place for three days before burning it near the railway tracks. A video showing that riding Scooty with a stuffed sack and going towards the railway track has now surfaced. Amid preparations for assembly elections in Chhattisgarh, the Enforcement Directorate on 20 February 2023 raided multiple locations allegedly linked to Congress leaders. The action was taken in a money laundering case related to the alleged coal levy scam in the state. Enforcement Directorate conducted raids in Raipur and Durg allegedly linked to eight Congress leaders, office bearers, and a legislator. Enforcement Directorate crackdown began days before the Congress holds its plenary session in Raipur. More than 10,000 Congress functionaries and senior leaders are expected to participate in the event from 24 to 26 February.